Welcome, and Yali Madad. On behalf of the Aga Khan Health Board for the United States, we welcome you to a discussion on the COVID-19 vaccine, light at the end of the tunnel. My name is Dr. Ali Jawani, and I'm an interventional pulmonologist at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas, and a national member of the Aga Health Board for the United States. It is my pleasure to introduce our expert panel tonight, who will discuss the new vaccines to protect us against COVID-19 and answer your questions. We have a lot to talk about, so I'll keep the intros brief. Our panelists for tonight are Dr. Tanith Lilani, who is an infectious disease physician in the Northeastern United States. Dr. Salim Virani, a professor of medicine and cardiology at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas, and chairman of the Afghan Health Board for the United States. Dr. Unwar Merchant, a professor of epidemiology at the University of South Carolina and a national board member of the Afghan Health Board for the United States and Dr. Umed Ajani, who is a Harvard-trained physician epidemiologist. Our moderator for tonight is Marinisa Taj, an oncology nurse practitioner and doctoral candidate at John Hopkins University, as well as the Honorary Secretary of the Arkan Health Board for the United States. I'll go ahead and pass it over to Dr. Ms. Taj. Thank you so much, Ali. Hazrin Jamad, good evening, and Yali Madad. Um, Let's get started to the very important topic today, the COVID-19 vaccine light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, let's just do some housekeeping quickly. And before I move to the next slide right here, if you have any questions, uh, please submit it during the webinar. We'll try to get your questions during the webinar as well as after the webinar. If we can't get to it, uh, during, we will get to your questions after the webinar. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, please submit your questions. You will see a box on your screen, on the right-hand side. You will click on it and enter your questions. Thank you. Now, that being said, let's get started. Uh, my first question is to Chairman Salim. Chairman Salim, what is the current status of COVID-19 pandemic in the U.S. and our Jamaat? Can you tell us what the status of COVID-19 is in the Jamaat or U.S.? Yes, Ali Madad. I know we have quite a few uh, members from the community who are attending from outside the U.S. as well. So if we look at uh, overall in the world right now, uh, as of a few hours earlier, we have almost 83 million people who have contracted COVID-19. And out of those, unfortunately, we have about 8.1.84 uh, million people who have died. If we look at just the US, US ke under takriban 19.7 million cases of the or takriban 341,000 deaths. Hui hai. Now, important thing is that when the same things keep happening again and again, we lose context. Lose kar just to give you some numbers, just yesterday, just yesterday, we had 3,700 deaths in US. The most deaths we had in our country related to COVID-19. We have more than 100,000 people in our country who are admitted to a hospital right now. And we had close to 250,000 people who were diagnosed with COVID-19. You know, we say that heart disease or cancer deaths Just to give you some perspective, it's what Every 23 seconds, there is a person in US who is dying because of COVID-19. Every 23 seconds, a person is dying of COVID-19. When you compare it to heart disease, every 35 to 30, 40 seconds, there's one person who gets a heart attack, but every one minute, 25 seconds, there's somebody who dies of a heart attack, which is the really the most common cause of death. So right now, if you look at throughout this year, COVID-19 will become the third most common cause of death. That's how many lives we have lost. The reason I give you these numbers is because this vaccine, which we are talking about vaccine, this is the best way that we as a community and the entire world will get out of COVID-19. So this is one of the most important webinars that we as Health Board have done as well. Thank you, Chairman Salim. Very important for our Jamaat. 23 seconds, one person dies of COVID-19. Please remember this. Yani ke ek minute mein hamare paas teen, more than two deaths hoti hai for COVID-19. Next question, uh, uh, Dr. Lalani say, Dr. Lalani, how many types of COVID-19 vaccines are there? 
uh, currently available in the U.S. Can you tell us which si different types of vaccines uh, available in the U.S. for COVID-19? Ki? Thank you, Marinus, and thank you for having me. Um, right now in the U.S., there are uh, two different vaccines that are available. Um, they are the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine. Um, and for our UK Jamaat, um, there's the AstraZeneca vaccine that was also authorized for use today. Um, there are several other vaccines that are under development and some of these may be available in spring of 2021 if they're shown to be effective. Thank you so much, Dr. Lalani. So as Dr. Lalani has told us, there are three kinds of vaccines available in the US, which are Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, and in the UK, there is approved the AstraZeneca vaccine. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Next question, um, I would ask again, Dr. Lalani, um, and then I would ask Dr. Um, Ajani and Dr. Merchant to please respond in Gujarati and Farsi for all of our Jamaat. Um, the question is, are there any differences between the two vaccines that are available today? Which one should I take? And how would these vaccines work and how are they given? This is a long question, so. Um, thank you. So um, the, the important thing to know is that the two vaccines that are available, the Pfizer vaccine and Moderna, use a very similar system to uh, work and their effectiveness is very similar as well. Um, so usually when we look at vaccines, uh, like the flu vaccine, uh, you take a small piece of the virus and you use that um, to immunize people and generate an immune response. With these two vaccines, you take the code, the, like the genetic code, it's kind of like the computer code, um, and, and that is what's used in the vaccine. It's surrounded by either a virus in case of the AstraZeneca virus shell, or um, you know, just a lipid membrane, a fat membrane. Um, ye, uh, when the vaccine goes in, it, uh, your body produces the protein and then you develop the immune response to it. Um, and because of the way it's done, the protein is developed inside your body, it generates a very strong immune response. So you get really good immunity. Um, the main differences to note, so I, I would say that both are effective and you know, it doesn't matter which one you get, they're really effective. There's a bit of difference in the schedule. So um, if you go, like, you know, if you get your first dose of vaccine tomorrow, for the Pfizer vaccine, they will give you a card and it will say come back in three weeks. So about uh, you know, 21, 22 days later, you will get your second dose of the vaccine. For the Moderna vaccine, it's a little bit longer than that. So you have to wait four weeks to get your second dose. Um, uh, but apart from that, they're very similar. For the AstraZeneca vaccine, um, again, it's a two dose vaccine, uh, but that can be spaced out to about three months. Thank you so much, Dr. Um, Lalani. Dr. Ajani and Dr. Merchant, will you please follow through? Up Gujarati mein or Farsi mein hume ye thoda sa brief response de denge iske baare mein? Sure. Uh, thank you so much for having me uh, on this uh, platform. So, to pehle to apne baat karwani ki jab be jaat na vaccine hamara US ma available chhe, ek Pfizer taraf thi chhe, ane ek Moderna ke baare chhe. Ab bani vaccine jese बहुज असरकार बने वेक्सि काम करने तरीको एक जो है तकरीबन एक जो है आप कोईपण वेक्सिन जो बने वेक्सिन में थी तो वेक्सिन में शू थे कि आप वेक्सिन में आप जो वायरस है एन एक थोड़ो एवं भाग कोई चीज में नाखी ने अपनी बॉडी में नाखे एना फायदा ही थे कि अपनी बॉडी ई वायरस ने केव रीते फाइट करव एना एक डिफेन्स मेकेनिजम तैयार कर ले बने वेक्सिन बराबर काम करे सारी है सेफ प फरक बने में ये कि फाइजर जो है ये बे डोज में है य चार अठवाडिया डिफरन्स सॉरी तरह अठवाडिया डिफरन्स लगाड़ा है अगर तब आज लगाड़ो तो पे बीजो डोज तरह अठवाडिया पीछे लगते जे के मॉडर्न मेक्सिन जो है य तरह अठवाडिया लगे आज लगाड़ी तो पीछे तरह अठवाडिया पीछे पाचो लगा आ बने वेक्सिन हमें यूएस में अवेलेबल है अपनी यूके जमात मे आज वेक्सिन रिलीज थोड़ा एस्ट्राजेनिका एनो टाइमिंग थोड़ा फरक है यहाँ एम बे डोज है बे डोज वर्ष में डिफरेंस थोड़ा लाबो रही सके थैंक यू डॉक्टर अजानी डॉक्टर मर्चेंट आप फारसी में प्लीज इसको रिस्पॉन्ड करेंगे क्वेश्चन को थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर हैविंग मी खेली मामनून ما فعلا در آمریکا دو دو نوع واکسین داریم یکی مودرنا هست و یکی فایزر هست اینا این هر دو تا خیلی شبیه به همدیگر هستند و اثر اینا هم تقریبا یکسان است 
هر کدوم از اینا که به دست برسه میتونیم بگیریم اما فرق اینه که مدرنا وکسین اگر امروز گرفتی بعد از چهار هفته دوز دوم لازم هست و اگر فایزر وکسین امروز گرفتی بعد از سه هفته میتونیم دوز دوم بگیریم هر دوتا دوز خیلی مهمه خیلی ممنون Thank you, Dr. Merchant. Lovely to hear all these different languages and my brain is going for a jog here. Um, next question um, is um, again for Dr. Lalani. Dr. Lalani, how effective is the vaccine? And very important question that uh, seems to be very prevalent right now is how long will the immunity last after taking the vaccine? Thank you. So um, the vaccines are very effective in preventing um, symptomatic coronavirus infection. So a coronavirus infection that causes symptoms, um, including severe symptoms. Um, and so uh, if, if for people who get the vaccine, their risk of getting symptomatic coronavirus infection is 95% lower than people who don't get the vaccine. Um, so the, it, 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 you get a very strong immune response if you get the vaccine. And so far, it looks like it, that has been studied. It looks like um, the immunity lasts for two months. That's what we know for sure, about two to three months. Um, there are studies that are ongoing to see if the immunity lasts longer than that. Um, there are studies, it's, it's suggestive that um, the immunity can last for several months and maybe a year, uh, but we really have to wait for the evidence to be sure that that is the case. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Lalani. Uh, Chairman Salim, aap, uh, respond to this question in Urdu. Mein. जी, so important चीज़ ये है कि दोनों वैक्सीन जो हैं, वो 90% से ज़्यादा, almost 95% effective हैं, चाहे फाइज़र की हो, चाहे मोडर्ना की हो। Important चीज़ जमात के लिए यहाँ पे ये है कि इनमें से और इन दोनों के side effects भी very similar हैं, और बड़े manageable हैं दोनों के। जमात के लिए important message यहाँ पे ये है कि इसमें से जो भी वैक्सीन आपके लिए available है, कुछ सवाल ऐसे भी आ रहे हैं कि एस्ट्रोजेनिका की वैक्सीन आने वाली है एक दो महीने बाद आपको पता होगा आज यूके में एस्ट्रोजेनिका की वैक्सीन अप्रूव हुई है जो कि यूएस में अभी अप्रूव नहीं हुई है और ना अवेलेबल है वेट करने का कोई फायदा नहीं है इससे ज्यादा बहुत मुश्किल होगा कि दूसरी इफेक्टिव वैक्सीन्स आए हमारे पास तो जो भी वैक्सीन आपको अवेलेबल है चाहे वो मॉडर्ना की वैक्सीन हो चाहे फाइजर की वैक्सीन हो आप उस वैक्सीन को ले लें क्योंकि ये वैक्सीन बहुत ज्यादा इफेक्टिव है एस लॉन्ग एस आप उसे एक ग्रुप में फॉल करते हैं कि जिन ग्रुप्स के लिए ये अप्रूव हुई है थैंक यू थैंक यू चेयरमैन सलीम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अगेन फॉर डॉक्टर ललानी एंड आई आस्क डॉक्टर अजानी टू प्लीज रिस्पॉन्ड इन गुजराती एंड उर्दू आई हैव हर्ड अ लॉट अबाउट हर्ड इम्यूनिटी विल हर्ड इम्यूनिटी प्रोटेक्ट मी इफ आई डोंट गेट द वैक्सीन uh so the short answer is no it's very important that you get the vaccine your household members get this vaccine and the community gets this vaccine um as salim pointed out um uh, you know natural infection is producing some herd immunity in the community but you can see the cost of it the um, number of people dying the number of people in the hospital is uh, astronomically high and uh, vaccination is the only way to combat that And so the immune response that is generated from vaccination uh, will protect you in case you come into contact with somebody uh, who has a coronavirus disease. Um, so, so it is very important that you get vaccinated. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. And Dr. Ajani. Sure. So our herd immunity is very important. If we have a lot of people who have a disease, then we will be able to get our children. If we have a lot of children, then we will be able to get our children. But that is not the same thing. अपने आप हर्ड इम्यूनिटी माटे बधाने वैक्सीन ले वो बहुत जरूरी चहे अगर आपने वैक्सीन ले सो तो आपने पोता ने पढ़ बचाव सो अन्य बाकी आपने बाजू मार जला बेचे आपने फैमिली चे आपने जमात चे ऐने बचाव भी सकते हो याद रखना नुचे कि आपने पूरी कम्युनिटी में वैक्सीन वगैरह पूरी हर्ड इम्यूनि� so are these vaccines safe and what are the common side effects of these vaccines? Dr. Lalani, could you please respond to this question? And after that, uh, Chairman Salim, 
And um, Dr. Merchant, would you please respond in Urdu and Farsi? Um, thank you. So these vaccines are very safe. Um, they now, so the studies that were done were done in over 70,000 people. Um, and since uh, approval, uh, the Pfizer vaccine has been, uh, you know, about more than 2 million people in the US have been vaccinated with this uh, vaccine. And we have data for, we know uh, the follow up for uh, two months out from, you know, getting vaccination and uh, the people who were in the studies. And based on that, we know that this vaccine is very safe. There are some common side effects that you should be, you should know that exist with vaccines. Um, just like when you get the flu shot or other vaccines, you'll get very similar side effects with these uh, vaccines as well. Both with the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine, after you get the first dose, you will have a little bit of arm pain. Um, so even when I got the dose about for the first day and the second day, I had mild uh, arm pain. Um, and if you get that, you can take a Tylenol or Motrin or something to help with the pain. Um, after you get the second dose, your body mounts, it, it, it has a very strong immune reaction. So you can feel a little bit, um, a, you know, like fatigue or tired for a, a day or so, or you can have uh, your muscles can be hurting or your joints can be hurting a little bit. Again, in most people, this uh, side effect is uh, mild or moderate in some cases, but you can take Tylenol or Motrin to help with it and it uh, recovers in a day or so. Um, an important thing to know is when you get vaccinated, they will tell you about a website called vSafe. That is monitored by the CDC. And so every day uh, that website will send you a text message asking you if you have any symptoms related to the vaccine. And if there are any concerning symptoms, it will uh, notify your physician as well as the CDC to take some actions. Um, so, so that would be really important to sign up for as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Chairman Salim. The Almadad. So uh, what I would say is that side effects are very mild. I had a vaccine last week, like our doctors in the panel, they had also got it. The most common side effect is that where you get an injection, there can be a little pain in the back. Usually, if you get a pain in the back, you can take Tylenol or Motrin, so it will be less than that. One is the side effect. The other one is that some people get a little tired from the back. The other one is that some people get a little tired from the back. Some people get a little headache, some people get a little muscle. कुछ लोगों को फीवर भी होता है मगर बहुत कम लोगों को कंपेयर टू सबसे ज्यादा कॉमन जो साइड इफेक्ट है यूजली जहां आर्म में आपको लगा है वहां छह आठ घंटे के लिए पेन होना कुछ लोगों को एक से दो दिन भी हो सकता है सेकंड डोज के बाद और ज्यादा लोगों को होता है मगर इंपॉर्टेंट चीज ये है जो कि डॉक्टर तहमियत ने भी इस वक्त मैंशन की कि ये सारे जो साइड इफेक्ट्स हैं बहुत ज्यादा मैनेजेबल साइड इफेक्ट्स हैं इस वजह से वैक्सीन ना लेना बहुत ज्यादा جو ہے وہ غیر فائدہ مند بات ہوگی ہمارے جماعت کے لیے کہ ہمیں سائیڈ ایفیکٹ ہوں گے اس لیے ہم نہیں لے رہے ہیں یہ سارے جو سائیڈ ایفیکٹس ہیں بڑے مینجبل ہیں اگر ایسا ہوتا تو ہمارے جماعت میں اتنے لوگوں نے آلیڈی یہ ویکسین نہ لی ہوتی تینکیو تینکیو چیرمن سلیم ڈاکٹر مرچنڈ خوب سوال ان بود کہ آیا ان ویکسین بھی خطر است و معصر است کہ خیلی بھی خطر و معصر ویکسین است این چند نقص ایمنی داره این ای که جایی که سوزن گرفتی درد میکنه ممکنه لرز داشته باشی تب داشته باشی بدن درد داشته باشی اما این برای یک یا دو روز میمونه بعد از یک یا دو روز این از بین میره و میتونی تایلنال یا موترین یا همچین قرصی بگیری که دردش کم بشه دوباره ما میگیم که این اثرات خیلی خفیفه و مثل یه وکسین های دیگر هست بیشتر از اون نیست Thank you Dr. Merchant uh, Can I get COVID-19 from the vaccine? This is our next question and Dr. Ajani, may I ask you to respond to this question? Kya mujhe COVID-19 ho sakta hai vaccine um, lene se? So uh, the simple answer is a no. Uh, hum sunte hain kaafi ke vaccine lete hain, uske baad hume kuch na kuch bimari ho sakti hai aur hume COVID bhi ho sakta hai. 
और जब हम ये सुनते हैं कि वैक्सीन बनाए इस तरह जाता है कि इसमें जो वायरस के पार्टिकल्स है या वायरस की प्रोटीन है वो उसमें है तो आदमी सोचता है लेकिन इस वैक्सीन से कोविड डिजीज नहीं हो सकती क्योंकि इसके अंदर जो भी पार्टिकल डाले गए हैं वो कोविड डिजीज को प्रोड्यूस नहीं कर सकते कई दफ़ा ऐसा भी होता है कि कोई अगर वैक्सीन लेते हैं उससे दो चार दिन में उनको अगर कुछ बीमारी हो गई या कोविड हो गई तो आदमी सोचता है कि ये कोविड की वजह से हमने जो वैक्सीन लिया उसकी वजह से ये बीमारी हुई है जबकि ऐसा नहीं है हमारी बॉडी को जो डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म है उसमें थोड़ा वक्त लगता है बनने में और अगर हम उससे पहले एक्सपोज हो जाए तो वो अलग बात है लेकिन इस वैक्सीन की वजह से हमें कोविड नहीं हो सकता और अपने जो गुजराती समझे थिमना बटे कर लें कि आप घनी वक्त सांभी छे कि अगर आप कोविड ना वेक्सिन ले तो आपने कोविड थी सके एवं बराबर नहीं आ वेक्सिन लेवा कोई ने कोविड न थाय जो आप कोई थी सांभी भी कि वेक्सिन लीधु से एना पी बे दिवस में कि चार दिवस में थी गयु तो ई वेक्सिन कारण आ कोविड नहीं थात आप जो बात कर सो कि आ डिफेन्स मेकेनिजम में थोड़ा टाइम लगे एट सीम्पल जवाब ये कि आ वेक्सिन लेवा आपने कोविड न थी सकत एंड वी कूड नॉट गेट दिस कोविड डिजीज फ्रॉम गेटिंग दिस वेक्सिन थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर अजानी May I ask you to continue responding to this question? To will my insurance cover the cost of the vaccine? And what if I do not have insurance coverage? If I don't have insurance, then what do I do? And will my insurance cover the cost of the vaccine? So um, let me make it clear that as far as those who are in US are concerned, uh, all insurance will cover the cost of vaccine. basically all preventive measures is is become a part of preventive mechanism or preventive measures and those are covered by uh, uh, by your insurance it doesn't matter whether you have private insurance you have medicare you have medicaid just like jis tarah humne pehle dekha tha ki testing ke mamle mein tha ki government ne intezam kiya hua tha ki sab ke liye jitne bhi america ke andar maujood hain unke liye testing ka cost covered tha isi tarike se abhi ye vaccine ka cost bhi covered hai Uh, just want to make sure ke jo dusre mamalik se ya those who are in outside from different countries they may want to look at their own systems what that will cover or not but for us those uh, costs will be covered thank you chairman salim may i ask you to uh, add some more to this question please bahut zara zaruri hai ke hum samjhe ke ye jo vaccine hai at least us ke andar government ne iske liye pay kiya hai to गवर्नमेंट के हिसाब से ये वैक्सीन सब के लिए फ्री है जिनके पास इंश्योरेंस है जिनके पास इंश्योरेंस नहीं है उनके लिए भी अगर हम हेल्थ एंड ह्यूमन सर्विसेज के रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस देखें तो उसमें ये वैक्सीन कवर्ड है इसलिए बहुत जरूरी है कि हम हमारे जो भी प्राइमरी केयर क्लिनिशन है जिनके पास भी हम जाते हैं उनको ऑफिस को कॉल करें मालूम करें कि हमें कब मिल सकता है जैसे हमारा टाइम आएगा कि हमें ये वैक्सीन मिले दूसरी कुछ चीजें भी मैं इंपॉर्टेंट यहाँ पे बोलना चाह रहा था वो ये था कि जमात शुड बी केयरफुल कुछ मेडिकेयर के स्कैम्स भी चल रहे हैं अगर कोई भी आपसे कहता है कि आप हमें पैसे दें हम आपको जल्दी दे देंगे ये वैक्सीन या ऐसी कुछ भी आपको कॉल्स आती हैं ईमेल्स आती हैं तो प्लीज आप उनको रिस्पॉन्ड ना करें क्योंकि वन कैन एक्सपेक्ट कि जैसे ये चीज वैक्सीन ज्यादा से ज्यादा अवेलेबल होंगी ये स्कैम्स भी बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ जाएंगे तो वी वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर वी फ्लैग डेट फॉर द जमात तीसरी एक चीज जो कि हमने जमात में थोड़ी बहुत देखी है कि अगर आपको कोई फार्मेसी से ये मिलता है वैक्सीन सी हो गया वॉलग्रीन हो गया इट इज परफेक्टली फाइन कि हम एक फार्मासिस्ट से लें जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको सिर्फ डॉक्टर से ये लेना है आपको कोई नर्स अगर ये दे रही है कोई फार्मासिस्ट भी दे रहा है दे आर ऑल फुल्ली ट्रेन्ड इन दिस जहां से आपको ये वैक्सीन मिल रही है आप वहां से ले लें और मैं एक और चीज रिपीट करूंगा यहाँ पे डू नॉट वेट फॉर अनदर वैक्सीन अलहमदुल्ला बोथ ऑफ दीज वैक्सीन दैट वी हैव राइट नाउ मोडर्ना एंड फाइजर आर इक्वली इफेक्टिव equally safe get whichever one you can get as long as you fall in that category that is recommended to get the vaccination isliye bahut zaruri hai ki jahan hame vaccine milti hai jab hamara time aata hai hum wo vaccine le le thank you uh, chairman salim dr merchant khali mohim hai ke in vaccine ro begirin masan in اصلا در امریکا کاملا مجانیه مثلا دولت امریکا پول داده برای وکسین تمام مردم که تو امریکا هستن آیا سیتیزن هستن یا نیستن هر کی هست و 
هر کدوم وکسین که به دست ما میاد ما باید بگیریم و زن بزنید به پزشک شما بپرسید از اون که کی شما بتونید بگیرید و اون رو, اون رو بگیرید و هم ممکنه که این وکسین رو از سی وی اس یا والگرینز یا کوی یا کسی فارمسی هم میتونی بگیری مهم اینه که باید بگیری Thank you, Dr. Merchant. Um, next question is for you, Dr. Lalani. Um, who should be vaccinated? What about those with severe allergies, people who are immunocompromised, uh, people or, or pregnant women or lactating mothers or children? And then um, after Dr. Lalani, uh, Chairman Salim and uh, Dr. Merchant, would you please respond? Thanks, Baronessa. So um, in general, the vaccine is very safe, like was said before. Um, and people should get vaccinated. Um, in certain groups, you have to be a little bit careful. Um, so in terms of allergies, regular allergies are not an issue. If you have an allergy to a food product or to pets, or um, even if you get hives um, you know, uh, because of allergies, that is okay. You, you can get the vaccine the, you know, the, uh, the normal way. Um, in people who go into shock, so it's called anaphylaxis, if they have had an anaphylactic shock um, from another vaccine or from an IV infusion, to, uh, like if you have an IV drip in, of something and you get an anaphylactic reaction, a severe shock-like reaction, in those patients, um, you still would want to vaccinate but you would want to vaccinate in an environment where the person can be taken care of in case there are any complications. And so it's important to discuss with your provider if you have, or, or your doctor or whoever it is, or the nurse that's um, uh, seeing you, um, and let them know that you've had this kind of reaction before so that they can make sure that you are getting the vaccine in an area that you know, they can take care of you. Um, anybody who gets the vaccine is going to be monitored for 15 minutes after they get the vaccine to make sure that there are no allergic reactions. In people who have severe anaphylaxis, they will be monitored for 30 minutes. So, uh, you know, in, 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 they will be vaccinated in a clinic or in a hospital environment where in case anything happens, they can be taken care of. Um, for immunocompromised, if, if for in general, if you've had a, a cancer previously or don't have a, a active chemotherapy going on, um, it's it's fine to get the vaccine and it'll you know protect you. Um, in people who are actively going through chemotherapy um, or to some other uh, sort of therapy that decreases your immune response, um, it's important to talk to your doctor um, to see you know, when you should get this vaccine. It is recommended across um, all of these categories, but in certain circumstances, you might want to talk to your doctor um, to figure out exactly what the timing of the vaccine should be. Um, in lactating mothers, again, it's, it's your body is producing an immune response to a protein. Um, and so the, the risk of harm to the child or the mother is very low. Um, whereas the antibody, you know, the immune response that is produced will protect both the mother as well as the child. So if, uh, lactating mothers, uh, breastfeeding mothers is not an issue. Um, in pregnant women, this, the vaccine has not been studied in pregnant women. Um, and so again, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology does think that the benefit of getting vaccine is greater than any potential risk, because again, your body is producing an immune response to a protein. The vaccine it shouldn't cross the placenta, it shouldn't cross into uh, you know, the child's immune system, and the antibody response that you produce, the immune response will protect both of you. Um, COVID-19 can be a very serious disease in a lot of these uh, patients, immunocompromised, people who have a, a depressed immune system, uh, people who are pregnant, um, they can have severe infection, which can lead them into the ICU or on the ventilator. So um, talk to your doctor and um, see when you can get the vaccine. In terms of children, um, the uh, Pfizer vaccine was studied in children over uh, 16 and over. And so that vaccine can be given in kids that are 16 to 18 years old. The, we do not have any approved vaccine for children under 16 years of age. It's being studied right now, and hopefully the vaccines should come out um, sometime early next year. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Chairman Salim? 
जी सो आई थिंक काफी सारी चीजें हैं इसमें मैं थोड़ा ब्रीफ रहूंगा क्योंकि डॉक्टर लालानी ने ऑलरेडी आंसर दे दिया है काफी सारी चीजों का अगर किसी को फूड एलर्जी है पीनट एलर्जी है उन्हें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ये वैक्सीन लेने का उन लोगों को जिनको के पहले वैक्सीन लेने की वजह से सिर्फ छोटी मोटी एलर्जी नहीं ऐसी एलर्जी हुई है कि ब्लड प्रेशर घिर गया है सांस लेने में तकलीफ हुई है या उनको कोई और एलर्जीज हैं आईवी या आईएम मेडिकेशन से वो भी ये वैक्सीन ले सकते हैं उन्हें सिर्फ मॉनिटर 30 मिनट्स के लिए करना पड़ता है एज ओपोज टू फिफ्टीन मिनट जो कि कोई भी नॉर्मल आदमी जो वैक्सीन लेता है उसे मॉनिटर करना पड़ता है तो आपको अगर एलर्जी है छोटी मोटी एलर्जी में तो इनफैक्ट देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम अगर बहुत सीवियर एलर्जीज हुई हैं तो आप आपके डॉक्टर से बात कर सकते हैं आप एक्सेस के थ्रू हेल्थ बोर्ड के वॉल्टियर uh, से भी बात कर सकते हैं जो आपसे ये डिस्कस करेंगे मगर जनरली स्पीकिंग इट्स मैनेजेबल तो एक तो ये हमने बात की ये वैक्सीन जो है वो प्रेगनेंट औरतों में या वो औरतें जो कि ब्रेस्ट फीड कर रही हैं बच्चों को उनमें स्टडी नहीं हुई है ऑन दी अदर हैंड हमें पता है कि जो औरतें प्रेगनेंट होती हैं उनको अगर कोविड 19 हो तो कोविड 19 सीवियर कोविड 19 होने का रिस्क भी ज्यादा होता है प्रेग्नेंट औरतों में और इसके अलावा प्री टर्म बर्थ जो कि बच्चे फुल टर्म होने से पहले बच्चों की जो बर्थ हो जाती है उसका रिस्क भी बढ़ जाता है तो इस वक्त अगर आप अमेरिकन कॉलेज ऑफ ऑब्स्टेट्रिक्स की रिकमेंडेशन देखें तो वो कह रहे हैं कि औरतें जो कि प्रेगनेंट हैं उनको ये वैक्सीन डेफिनेटली डिस्कस करना चाहिए अपने डॉक्टर से कि वो लें या ना लें मोस्ट पीपल आर रेकमेंडिंग के लें औरतें वट वी वुड सजेस्ट इज कि आप ये डिस्कशन करें अपने डॉक्टर्स के साथ कि क्या आपको ये वैक्सीन लेनी चाहिए या नहीं जनरली स्पीकिंग इट अपियर्स कि ये वैक्सीन सेफ होगी प्रेग्नेंट औरतों के लिए और उनके लिए जो कि अपने बच्चों को ब्रेस्ट फीड कर रहे हैं बच्चों में ये वैक्सीन अभी तक अप्रूव नहीं है काफी सारे सवाल भी इसके लिए आए हैं जो फाइजर की वैक्सीन है वो अप्रूव्ड है उन लोगों में जिनकी एज 16 या उससे ज्यादा है जो मोडर्ना की वैक्सीन है वो उन लोगों में अप्रूव्ड है जिनकी उम्र 18 या उससे ज्यादा है तो 16 से जो कम उम्र के बच्चे हैं उनमें काफी सारी स्टडीज इस वक्त चल रही हैं इन अगले तीन चार महीनों के अंदर वी शुड हैव मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट किड्स एज वेल और जैसे वो इंफॉर्मेशन आती है इनशाला हम आपको वो इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइड करेंगे Thank you, Chairman Salim. Dr. Merchant. In vaccine, baroi har kis ke shunsta sol va bola tar azune mitune begire. Amma agar ye allergy ye mamuli dari, agar ye allergy mamuli dari, hech eshkali nadare mitune vaccine begire. Amma agar kablan از واکسین دیگر یه ریاکشن بزرگی داشته باشی مثلا فشار خون رفته پایین یا انفلاکسیس به نام میگن اگر شده پس شما باید صحبت کنی با پزشک شما با دکتر شما به اون صورت هم میتونی واکسین بگیری اما در نظر دکتر باید برای نیم ساعت باشه خانمایی که حامله هستن باید صحبت کنن با پزشکشون ولی امریکن کالج اف ابسیٹریکس این گینیکولوجی میگه که باید که واکسین گرفتن زیاد فایده داره نسبت به این که نب... نگیرن و کووید بگیرن خانمایی که مادرایی که شیرده هستن میتونن این واکسین رو بگیرن Thank you thank you Dr Merchant uh, Dr Lalani will you um, respond to this question based on the distribution schedule can you tell us when will um, some of us get the vaccine like healthcare workers and general public and general population so I'll put this chart up for all of us and then after this chairman Salim aap jamaat ko batayenge thodi state level nuances jo hain uske bare mein um so uh, yeah so right now um the vaccine is being given to healthcare providers um so they're considered in a category called 1a um and so those are the frontline healthcare workers that are actively seeing patients with covid um and because the hospital system is so you know overstretched right now 
Um, they want to make sure that the physicians and nurses, um, they have an adequate supply to be able to take care of patients. Um, the other very high risk group for complications, uh, people that are staying in uh, long-term care facilities like nursing homes, um, those are the patients that are getting vaccinated at the moment. Um, like you said, there is some variation based on states. Um, following this, uh, the next category will be other essential um, you know, frontline workers. Um, and then you will get into the different age categories as well. So persons over age 75 uh, will be prioritized. Um, it, those uh, you know, from 65 to 74 years old will be prioritized after that. And then uh, will be persons that are younger um, than that, but have other immunocompromising conditions. So suppose if they're, uh, they have diabetes, obesity, um, cancer, c conditions that make them at higher risk of getting severe COVID, um, they would be uh, up next. Um, and then after that, it would be all other uh, people, you know, in the US that don't fall into these high risk categories. That's a general overview, but the slide that you put up kind of goes into some of the specifics. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Dr. Ajani, uh, you ko thoda sa briefly hume batayenge Gujarati mein. Sure. So, ab apne ghani se baat jo se ki apni wali kya rahe hoise, to jare vaccine aaviyo chhe, tena pachi ek guidance aavi di ke kono vaccine pehla kevi the distribute tha se. Southy Pelato healthcare physicians change regularly patients to deal courage, yeah, Koi Tarikana healthcare profession mache, Temne Southy Pele Apama Aveche, Jeruat Eche, Capre, a disease no spread be Rokanoche, and Animada is a complication, a mortality, Jamarat Hache, Enepa Rokanoche. Totle Pela, Face Majeche, Badai, long term care nursing home che facilities, Emma Pamaveche, and Apra healthcare Naja providers, Iloka Apama Aveche. Jerry Anu Lokon Marija, Enna Pachi, Vijaje, essential workers, Jemapa police, teachers, firefighters, say, even the Ganabada essential workers generally defined Karam Avelache, E and a chem, very much Pinchote, Umarthi Vadarena, Ilokone Apam Aveche, and a Tena Pachi, Pachi up the next stage for Jain to Pansar, the Pinchote was in the Umarche, Ilokone Apam Ave, Panje Pansar, the Uchache, Panenekoi, Bimariche, diabetes, high risk. Tene apam house, and in a pachi jeshe, baki badai, at le sole varus you portilene, pansard varusta, at le advise up village, a cavity of vaccine distribute hase. Ama tame agarjo America machoto up a protocol follow thase, but up for protocol jeshe up of federal government noche, ama der state ma, both potan and sabe iloko thori fair far curry sakeche, at le iloko umar uponiche curry sakeche, kadash profession uponiche curry sakeche, to federal guidelines to ache, tamne pot potan a state ma jo per se, ka agarima ka fair far thioche, to ina sabe tamari vari kare house, but equa jaruriche, jaribi variave, tarit and lele bujoye, coipon wait na karujo, ka hum bija bija face malays, ki biju vaccine house, terrelis, jaribariave, terrelele with bow jaruriche. Thank you, Dr. Ajani. Chairman Salim. I will add that this is CDC's general guidelines. But there are nuances in every state. I will give you an example. The state of Texas has given one beam for those who are more than 65 years old. They have added one beam in that category. And 16 to 64 years old, those who have medical problems, like diabetes, heart disease, or lung problems, Unko already phase one B may dal the Ajaki of frontline workers, eh? Who phase one B may nahi. So is Vajase Kafi Ziada ye very karega state to state. Abihame pata hai ke Texas ke state me or Florida ke state me actually jo seniors and sixty five say over ya jo unki jinki a sixteen to sixty four be hai. Magar une chronic conditions eh? Unko or Ziada jaldi di jari hai vaccine. So bohaja da zaruri hai ke ap nazar rake ke ap ke state me. क्या रेकमेंडेशंस हैं ये सीडी की सीडीसी की जनरल गाइडलाइंस हैं जो कि डॉक्टर अजानी ने और डॉक्टर लालानी ने आप लोगों को बताई मगर इंपॉर्टेंट है हम हर स्टेट के हिसाब से भी देखें और आप देखेंगे कि हमारे जो रीजनल हेल्थ बोर्ड्स हैं वो भी इस चीज के ऊपर प्रोग्रामिंग करेंगे एम्फसाइज करने के लिए कि किन सेगमेंट्स में अब वैक्सीन जो है वो अवेलेबल है जैसे मुझे पता है कि आज ह्यूस्टन में और डैलास में हमारे काफी सारे सीनियर्स जो हैं जिनकी एज 65 से 70 के बीच में भी है उनको भी काफी सारे लोगों को वैक्सीन आज मिली है जबकि दूसरे स्टेट्स में वो अवेलेबल नहीं है Florida may be Joe Voco seniors co vaccines milli him. So Yebala depend Kataki up kids state may have to both up Nazaraki up his state key guidelines. Kiahe. Messip itna add Kurunga on top of Joke, Dr. Lalani or Dr. Ajani me, Abikata. 
Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Salim. Our next question, actually, next or next question, I will combine both What if I only take one vaccine in the schedule, meaning I don't take both the vaccine, or will I still be protected if I um, take one of one vaccine? So if I take one of Moderna and one of Pfizer. Uh, Dr. Lalani, you have two questions, I know I have combined it, but Magar, I think it, the answer you would respond to in, uh, similarly for both. So, uh, Dr. Lalani, could you start out and then I would ask uh, Chairman Salim and um, Dr. Merchant to respond as well. So here's the first question. Thank you. So um, it's very important that you get both doses of the vaccine. Um, when you get one dose of the vaccine, your immune, your immune system learns how to respond to the virus a little bit. So it gives you a little bit of protection but again, the studies that we've seen, you know, the, the, we know that it protects you for two months, maybe longer. That is seen after you get both doses of the vaccine. Um, it's important that you get both doses of the vaccine on time. So like was said before, um, you know, for the Pfizer vaccine, you get it within 21 days. Uh, the Moderna vaccine, you get it 28 days. Um, in certain situations, it might be that uh, a second dose of the vaccine is not available, or for some reason, you were unable to get the second dose of the vaccine when you had to go get it. Um, in that case, do not panic. Um, you can still get the second dose of the vaccine, even if it's a few days later, just get it at your earliest convenience, um, because that booster dose, that's what we call it, the booster dose, really improves your immunity and will really improve the amount of protection that you have, um, the, the immune response that you have against the um, vaccine. Um, in terms of uh, it, when you get the vaccine, you will get a card, and the card will tell you um, what vaccine you got, whether you got the Pfizer or the Moderna. And so take a picture of it with your cell phone and keep the card safely. When you go back, show them the card and they will also in their electronic medical system uh, know like which vaccine you got the first time. The reason we don't want to mix the vaccines is because when we've studied the vaccine, all the research that was done was done with that particular vaccine for both doses. So we don't really know if you get a Pfizer and then the Moderna, will the side effects be any different, like the arm pain that you get, the fever that you get? Uh, we, we know that for sure, you know, what the side effects are and how can you prevent and treat them if you get the right uh, types of vaccine. Also, we don't know what the immune response is if you mix the doses. So um, I, I think it's very simple. You just keep the card and it'll, it'll have the type of vaccine you get and your healthcare provider should know what vaccine you got as well. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Dr. Ajani, I'm sorry, if you could please also respond to these two questions. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try and do that more in Urdu or Gujarati so that our uh, other Jamaat can understand Please. as well. प्रोटेक्शन मिले बीजो डोज बूस्टर डोज कही एना साइकल पूरा बने डोज लेवा जरूरी है अगर जो आम टाइम तमने पे डॉक्टर लाडन बताड़ू के तर अठवाडिया के चार अठवाडिया टाइम है पर जो कदाच अपने भूली गया आग पाचड़ थी गयु तो पीछे बाधो नहीं भले मोड़ू थी गयु बे चार दिवस पर थी गया पर तेरे भी बीजो डोज लेव जरूरी है कारण के एना आप प्रोटेक्शन पूरु थाय बीजी बात आम यही है कि घनी वक्त मणस सोचे कि भाई एक आज फाइजर ना अवेलेबल है का मॉडर्ना हो तो हूँ आज एक लै लू का बीजू लै लू एम थाय कि ना थाय एम कोशिश करवी जो न करव जो कारण के आज स्टडी थी ये एक वेक्सिन हिसाब से थी कि आप फाइजर वेक्सिन स्टडी थी है का मॉडर्ना थी है बने ने मिक्स करवा साइड इफेक्ट पर शू असर थे अपने खबर नहीं एट आने याद दहरा जारी भी तब वेक्सिन लेशो जारी भी तमारे टाइम आने वेक्सिन लेशो तो वेक्सिन देवा तक कार्ड आपसे आ खास तमने वनंती है कि ये कार्ड जी संभाड़ी राखवा ई कार्ड जैसे पर लखेलू हे कि तमने क्यों वेक्सिन मेड़ो है क्या मैली है एम लॉट नंबर लिखेलो हे एम सीरीज नंबर लखेली हे ई तक याद ही पा से तमने पर याद ही पाशे जय ते बीजा डोज में से जासो तरह ई तर जो हेल्थ केर प्रोवाइडर है एने पर याद ही पाशे कि तमने क्यों वेक्सिन मेलो है एट तक एनों ज बीजो डोज आपे एम नहीं कि एक तो बीजो थी जाए थोड़ा आग पाचड़ थी गये वो नहीं कार्ड संभाड़ी राखो बहुत जरूरी है ध्यान राखव जो तमने एम हो खोवाई जाए कहीं है 
તો આજકાલ બધા પાસે ફોન છે તમે ફોન લઈ લ્યો એનો પિક્ચર લઈ લ્યો કોઈ હિસાબે એની યાદી અપાવી લ્યો પણ તમને આ કાર્ડ અહીંયા એનો પિક્ચર આખું બહુ જ જરૂરી છે થેન્ક યુ ડોક્ટર અજાણી ડોક્ટર મર્ચન ખેલી મહેમ આસ્ત કે દો તો દોસ બેગીરા ચુન બો એક દોસ કાફી નીસ્ત અગર મેક્સિમમ અસર દોસ્તી બોશે દોસ્તી બોશે બોય દો તો દોસ બેગીરી હર દો તો ચીઝ એ બલ દોવમ અગર મો એ વેક્સિન એ મોડર્ના ગ્રેફ્ટીમ બરોય દોસ એ અવલ باید دوز دوم هم باید مدرنا باشه اگر دوز اول فایزر بود دوز دوم هم باید فایزر باشه چون ما نمیدونیم اگر یه مدرنا بگیریم یه فایزر بگیریم چی میشه به اثر واکسین یا به اثرات جانبی بنابراین خیلی مهمه که دو تا دوز بگیریم و همون واکسین بگیریم که دوز اول گرفتیم دوباره وقتی که ما واکسین بگیریم یک کارد به ما میدن و به اون کارد نوشته باشه که کدوم واکسین گرفتی کی گرفتی همچنین پس یه عکس اون کارد بگیرید و وقتی که رفتی برای دوز دوم نشون بدید به دکترشون که اون هم تو رکوردش حتما هست ولی شما هم باید داشته باشی که شما کدوم واکسین گرفتی Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Merchant. Um, our next question, um, I would ask Dr. Lalani again, uh, do I still need the vaccine if I have had COVID-19? And a follow-up question that we've seen a lot in the chat today is, can I get COVID-19 again after I'm vaccinated with uh, COVID-19 vaccine? Um, after Dr. Lalani's response, um, Chairman Salim and Dr. Merchant, if you could please respond to. Thank you. Yes, it is very important that you get the vaccine, even if you've had COVID-19 before. Um, as you know, COVID-19 um, has a, a spectrum of symptoms that it can cause. In some people, they don't even know that they're sick. Some people get really severe disease and end up in the hospital. Um, and a lot of patients are in between that category. And so the immune response, the immunity that's developed uh, in patients is different as well. Um, and it can uh, decrease with time. Um, so it is important, the vaccine gives you very strong immunity, very strong protection. Um, and that's why it's important that even if you've had COVID before, you get the vaccine so that you get that boost of immunity that will keep you immune for, um, for some time. Um, and there's no need to check if, if you're not sure that, you know, maybe a cold that you had was COVID or not, there's no reason to go to your physician and try to test and see if you've had COVID before. Just go ahead and get the vaccine. Um, the, uh, sorry, the, the other question, uh, what, what was the second question? Well, can I get COVID-19 after I'm vaccinated? Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, so the risk of COVID-19 after you get vaccinated goes down drastically compared to if you don't get the vaccine. As was said before, it takes a few days to develop immunity. So even after the first dose, um, it takes about 10 days for your immune system to start understanding you know, how to develop immunity. And then even after the second dose, it takes like a week or so uh, before you get that really good immune response. So if you've had an exposure, because usually when you get exposed to the virus, you get symptoms within like five or six days. So it's possible if you had an exposure before you got vaccinated or even in that early period after vaccination, there is a chance that you could get um, infections. The same way, um, after you've finished do both doses, um, your risk compared to somebody who doesn't have the vaccine is 95% lower. So obviously there will, it's not a hundred percent. So there will be still people that might, um, you know, still get the infection, but hopefully it will be a milder infection. And uh, it, for example, in the studies that were done, there were close to 160 people who got infections in people who didn't get the vaccine. And the people who got vaccines, there were only, uh, there were fewer cases, there were less than 10 cases. 
And so uh, you can imagine in the healthcare system, like the people going to doctors, people going to hospitals, if you have far fewer cases, it's much easier to take care of them and to take care of the symptoms versus what is going on right now where uh, you know so many people are dying and getting the disease. So again, it, it, there is a small chance you can get COVID, but a lot fewer people will get it. And the symptoms we think are going to be milder. Thank you. Thank you, um, Dr. Lalani. Chairman Salim? Ji, a very important question. A lot of questions are related to this. As long as you have acutely COVID-19, it is recommended that you have COVID-19 vaccination. The vaccine is your body's immune response. It is also natural infection. It is very important that you have a vaccine. अगर आपको कुछ स्पेसिफिक किस्म की ट्रीटमेंट मिली थी जब आपको कोविड-19 हुआ था जो कि हम कहते हैं एंटीबॉडीज अगर वो आपको मिली थी तो आप 90 डेज तक वेट करें कोविड-19 इंफेक्शन के बाद लेकिन अगर आपको वो ट्रीटमेंट नहीं मिली थी जो कि आजकल इतनी ज्यादा यूज नहीं हो रही है मोस्ट हॉस्पिटल्स में देन यू शुड गो अहेड एंड टेक द वैक्सीन एज सून एज इट बिकम्स अवेलेबल फॉर यू दूसरी बात ये कि जो वैक्सीन है वो 100% प्रोटेक्टिव नहीं है 95% प्रोटेक्टिव है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि अगर वैक्सीन मिल गई तो जो अगर मास्क पहनना है या डिस्टेंस दूसरों से रखना है या फैमिलीज को गैदर नहीं होना है वो खत्म हो जाएगा वो चीजें हमें फिर भी प्रैक्टिस करनी ही पड़ेंगी और उसके अलावा आपने जो क्वेश्चन पूछा था कि दोबारा हो सकता है जैसे हमने कहा कि चांस है 5 टू 10% के दोबारा हो सकता है इसलिए बहुत जरूरी है कि हम वो सारे मेजर्स जो कि ऑलरेडी कर रहे हैं उन्हें हम कंटिन्यू करें स्टॉप ना करें मगर अगर आपको कोविड-19 हुआ है तो आपको दोबारा वैक्सीन लेनी चाहिए और दोबारा टेस्ट करने की जरूरत नहीं है वैक्सीन लेने से पहले सिर्फ अगर आपको एक्यूटली अभी कोविड-19 है पिछले 10 से 14 दिन के अंदर तो आप ठहर जाएं मगर एक बार आपका एक्यूट कोविड-19 ट्रीट हो गया है तो उसके बाद आप आपके प्राइमरी केयर क्लिनिशियन से बात करें ताकि आपको भी ये वैक्सीन मिल सके थैंक यू चेयरमैन सलीम डॉक्टर मर्चेंट اگر کووید هم داشتی میتونی وکسین بگیری یا باید وکسین بگیری فقط اگر همین الان کووید داشته باشی باید وایسی تا مرض تموم بشه و از اون به بعد حتما باید وکسین بگیری به خاطر این که و سوال این بود که این وکسین 95 درصد اثر داره یعنی که اگر هم وکسین گرفتی یه شانس خیلی کوچیک هست و پنج درصد هست که بتونی کووید هم بگیری بعد از وکسین اما اثر اون کووید کمتر میشه و خفیفتر میشه مهمترین چیز اینه که اگر هم کووید قبلا داشته باشی باید وکسین رو بگیری تینکیو دکتر مرچن Uh, this is uh, one of our favorite questions, to, uh, Chairman Salim and mine. Um, should I stop wearing a mask after getting the vaccine? What about physical distancing and hand washing? Kya mujhe mask pehna, physical distancing or hand wash karna ban kar dena chahiye agar main COVID vaccine le lo to, Dr. Chairman Salim? Dekhe, mein itna kahunga ki jitni hamari jamaat abhi sun rahi hai. I am sure aap sab ne mujh se, on sec meheru nisar se, umed se, और दूसरों से ये मेरे ख्याल में तीन से चार बार तो सुना होगा ठीक है तो अब मैं रिपीट नहीं करूंगा हम ऑलरेडी बोल चुके हैं देखें बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है वैक्सीन का मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम मास्क ना पहने वैक्सीन का मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम फिजिकली डिस्टेंस ना करें देखें इस वक्त भी हमारी कम्युनिटी में बहुत ज्यादा केसेज है फॉलोइंग थैंक्स और आपको पता है उसकी वजह क्या थी उसकी सबसे बड़ी वजह जो فیملی اور فرینڈز ایک ساتھ جمع ہوئے ہیں اس کی وجہ سے بہت زیادہ کیسز ہوئے ہیں ہماری جماعت میں بہت زیادہ ہاسپٹلائزیشن ہوئی ہیں اینڈ انفارچونیٹلی وی ہیو لاسٹ افیو جماعتی ممبرز ایز ویل میں آپ کو اس سے زیادہ اور امفیسائز نہیں کر سکتا ہوں پلیز 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 ہماری ارنیسٹ ریکویسٹ ہے آپ سے کہ پلیز آپ فیملیز میں گیدر نہ ہوں نہ دوستوں کے ساتھ گیدر ہوں ابھی جو دوبارہ جو چھٹیاں آ رہی ہیں نیو ایئر کے لیے اور دیکھیں میں ایک اور چیز کلیریفائی کروں ہم جو کہتے ہیں کہ آپ گیدر نہ ہو اس کا مطلب ہے آپ کا ہاؤس ہولڈ اگر میں اپنے گھر میں رہ رہا ہوں 
और मेरे पेरेंट्स दूसरे घर में रह रहे हैं मेरे भाई या मेरी बहन के साथ वो डिफरेंट हाउस होल्ड है इस वक्त जो हम कह रहे हैं कि गैदर नहीं होना है तो वो हम ये कह रहे हैं कि हाउस होल्ड अलग रहे मैं अपने पेरेंट्स या भाई बहन उनके बच्चों से भी ना मिलूं उसकी वजह से भी हमने बहुत ज्यादा केसेस हमारी कम्युनिटी में देखे जिस तरीके से पूरे यूएस में इस वक्त केसेस फैल रहे हैं तो बहुत जरूरी है कि ये वैक्सीन अगर आपको मिल भी जाती है उसके बाद भी जब तक कि पब्लिक हेल्थ अथॉरिटीज आपको नहीं कहती कि अब ओके है कि आप मिल मिले साथ में फैमिली के उस वक्त तक आप इसे अवॉइड करें मास्क पहने पब्लिक में जब भी आप जाते हैं और हाथों को अच्छी तरीके से साफ करना हैंड हाइजिंग फिजिकल डिस्टेंसिंग फेस मास्क नॉट गैदरिंग इन इवन स्मॉल फैमिली गैदरिंग्स और स्मॉल हाउस हो हाउस होल्ड गैदरिंग और फ्रेंड्स गैदरिंग इट इज नॉट ए गुड आइडिया राइट नाउ हमने नंबर पहले आपसे शेयर किए थे आई होप कि हमारी जमात जो है वो इस चीज को बहुत ज्यादा ध्यान से देगी ध्यान देगी इस बात के ऊपर और कोशिश करेगी कि हम इन चीजों को अवॉइड करें क्योंकि ऑलरेडी इसकी वजह से बहुत ज्यादा केसेस हमने देखे हैं थैंक यू डॉक्टर अजानी सिंस इट्स सो इम्पोर्टेंट आप गुजराती में इसको प्लीज कहें जमात के लिए श्योर सो सवाल ये कि आप वेक्सिन लगी जाए पी आपने जो बाकी बड़ी मूकी देखिए हम मस्क पेरी छे हाथ धोई छे तो ए जवाब है कि हम टाइम नहीं तमने शुरू शुरू में चेरमेन सलीमें बात करी कि आप दरमियान हम स्पेशली यूएस में आ वबा के फैलेली है एम के मणसों जान थी भी हाथ धोया है एम खाली आप जनरल पब्लिक की बात नहीं कर अपनी जमात में भी घा मणसों बीमार थे घनी डेथ्स भी थी है एट्ले हिसाब से खास ध्यान रखे कि हम वेक्सिन लगे पी अपने जो प्रिवेंशन मेजर्स है जेम आप हाथ धोवा चालू राखी अपने मस्क पेहरवा चालू राखी फिजिकल डिस्टन्सिंग ई चालू राखी तक याद है कि आप छुट्टी हो थैंक्स गिविंग एना पीछे के नंबर वी गया हम हम क्रिसमस की छुट्टी थी हम न्यू इयर्स आशे मैंने यकीन है कि घना बदा प्लान कर रहा है कि काल शू करव का कई पार्टी में जाऊँ है काले को घरे जाऊँ है जेटल बनी सके तेटू तब पोता घर में रहो आनो मतलब ये नहीं कि आप बड़ी मोटी फेमिली भेगा थी जाए आप चार दिवाली में आप जो रहता हो आ चार दिवाली अंदर जटला भी है ये बीजी फेमिली अपना भाई बहनों भले अलग रहे एने पास भी हम न जाव सोची ले कि आप एम आप भलाई है एमनी भलाई है जयरे आ वेक्सिन इस्तेमाल थी जाए जय वबा कम था तेरे बधाई ने अपने पब्लिक हेल्थ और हेल्थ ऑर्गनाइजेशन तरफ से इंडिकेशन मैं कि हम सही से तेरे अपने कर ज्यादी ई नहीं आत याद रख आप बधाई पर्सनल रिस्पोन्सिबिलिटी है कि आप बचा अपने भाई बहनों ने अपने फेमिली ने अपनी जमात ने कम बचा एट्ले जरूरी है कि आप आ प्रिवेंशन मेजर्स चालू राखी वेक्सिन लई और ज्यादी अपनी पास गाइडन्स न आए कि हम बड़ी जगह मल्वा इजाजत है त्यार सुधी आप फास بین ما هست ویروس از بین ما نرفته و جای ما میبینیم که الان هم مردم که جمع میشدند در تانکس گیوینگ که بعد از اون کیسار مقدار کیسار رو رفت بالا خیلی از جماعت کووید گرفتن و در بیمارستان هم هستن و متاسفانه از از بین رفتن بنابراین خیلی مهمه که ما همون کارهایی که می کردیم تا حالا ادامه بدیم. Thank you, Dr. Merchant. Um, حضرین جماعت میں آپ کو بتا دوں کہ ہم یہ ویبینار کنٹینیو کریں گے ایک گھنٹے سے تھوڑا زیادہ اس لیے کہ ہمارے پاس بہت کوشچن ہے جماعت کے اینڈ وی وڈ لائک ٹو ریسپونڈ ٹو ایوری کوشچن اف یو وانٹ ٹو سٹے آن اگر آپ کنٹینیو کرنا چاہتے ہیں پلیز سٹے آن دا لائن وی ہیو اے فیو مور کوشچنز اینڈ وی ول گیٹ ٹو یور کوشچنز آلسو تھینک یو آر نیکسٹ ٹو کوشچنز آر فار ڈاکٹر للانی ڈاکٹر للانی or sorry i forgot to show this uh, very important message here about physical distancing face covering and washing your hands um, 
So the next question is for Dr. Lalani. Dr. Lalani, will I test positive for COVID-19 if I get the vaccine? No, you cannot test positive for COVID-19 if you get the vaccine. Um, the vaccine is a small protein from the virus. It is not the virus. And so the PCR test that people do and the antigen test, the common tests that are used to diagnose an active infection of COVID-19, um, those tests will not be positive after you get the vaccine. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Uh, and our next question is, Will the vaccine work against uh, various strains identified or the recent strain that has been identified in the UK? Uh, this question was also asked. You question him say um, Q and A me be pucha gaya tha. Thank you. Yeah, um, so it's very important that this vaccine, both the vaccines, the Pfizer, uh, the Moderna vaccine, as well as the AstraZeneca vaccine in the UK, all of them are active against this strain that has been identified. Um, it originated in the UK, but there are other strains that have been identified, uh, you know, the South African strain, and then the UK strain is now in the US as well. Um, there is evidence for that. Uh, but it is important to note that uh, these uh, strains, uh, basically, they increase the infectiousness of the virus. So that means if you have COVID, then you can transmit it to more people. Um, and so again, wearing the mask and, you know, physical distancing, all of that is key. Um, but this, uh, this variant that's been identified, it doesn't give you more serious disease. So that means it doesn't increase your risk of going to the hospital or getting on oxygen. And the vaccine looks like it is very effective against these strains as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Um, our last question for the day, who should I call? Um, or uh, before I go there, uh, Chairman Salim, can you please respond to Dr. Tehaniyat's responses in Urdu? जी जी क्योंकि ये सवाल काफी ज्यादा आ रहा है काफी जमात को ये सवाल है कि जो अभी यूके में जो स्ट्रेन है साउथ अफ्रीका में भी कुछ स्ट्रेन है जो डॉक्टर लालानी ने इस वक्त बात की तो क्या ये वैक्सीन उनके सामने इफेक्टिव होगा आंसर इज इस वक्त हमें जितना पता है उसका उसके हिसाब से आंसर इज यस उन स्ट्रेन के सामने भी ये वैक्सीन इफेक्टिव होगी इस वजह से बहुत जरूरी है कि जब हम उस ग्रुप में पहुंचे जो कि प्रायोरिटी ग्रुप है हमारे स्टेट के लिए जहां हम रहते हैं तो हम ये वैक्सीन ले लें थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच चेयरमैन सलीम ये क्वेश्चन है हु शुड आई कॉल फॉर एनी क्वेश्चन और इंफॉर्मेशन तो मैं आपको बता दूं आपको कोई भी क्वेश्चन हो प्लीज आप एक्सेस को कॉल करें हेल्थ बोर्ड आपको ये इंफॉर्मेशन देगी इसके अलावा मैं आपके बताना चाहूंगी हमारा हेल्थ बोर्ड की एक वेबसाइट है मैं आपके साथ उसको शेयर करूंगी इस वक्त ताकि आप उस वेबसाइट के पास जाए और ओके थैंक यू सो जैसे कि आप देख रहे हैं ये हमारी वेबसाइट है ए के एच पी डॉट दी स्माइली यू एस ए डॉट ओर्ग और आप इस जस्ट जब वेबसाइट पे जाएंगे तो आप देखेंगे इसमें एक टैब है इधर रेड कलर का कोविड नाइन्टीन इंफॉर्मेशन आप इसको क्लिक कीजिए टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टीज आई अपॉलोजाइज और बेसिकली ये कोविड 19 वैक्सीन की जो साइट है इसमें बहुत सारी इंफॉर्मेशन है इसमें वैक्सीन की इंफॉर्मेशन है जो मैं आपको खास बताना चाह रही थी कि जब आप इस कोविड 19 की वेबसाइट पे जाएंगे तो आप कोविड 19 वैक्सीन का एक टैब देखेंगे उसको टैब करने के बाद राइट right हियर आप इसको और हमारी वेबिनार्स भी इधर हैं जो हम आज वेबिनार देख रहे हैं इसकी रिकॉर्डिंग इस साइट पे कल अवेलेबल होगी द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ टनाइट्स वेबिनार विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन दिस साइट टुमारो सो इफ एनी ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली और इफ यू लाइक टू गो अहेड एंड लिसन टू दिस प्लीज गो हियर क्लिक ऑन दिस वेबसाइट एंड यू विल सी द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द वेबिनार विच विल बी अपलोडेड हियर देर आर अदर वेबिनार ऑल्सो दैट आर अवेलेबल हियर फॉर यू टू व्यू ऑन डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन बट लेट मी टेक यू बैक टू कोविड नाइनटीन वैक्सीन वेबसाइट वेर इफ यू क्लिक ऑन इट यू विल सी इंफॉर्मेशन on uh 
आप चार डिफरेंट कोविड नाइन्टीन पे पी एस एस देखेंगे पब्लिक सर्विस अनाउंसमेंट जो कि इंग्लिश गुजराती उर्दू और दरी में है आप बहुत ही शॉर्ट वन मिनट मैसेजेस हैं आप प्लीज इसको देखिए की पॉइंट्स टू रिमेम्बर अबाउट कोविड नाइन्टीन वैक्सीन वट शुड आई एक्सपेक्ट आफ्टर गेटिंग सो आज जो हमने सब सुना है ये सब चीजें इनशाला रिपीट आप देख सकते हैं इधर आपके लिए अवेलेबल है बहुत ही बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज अगेन इधर अवेलेबल है वेयर मैस्क वॉश योर हैंड फिजिकल डिस्टेंसिंग और अगेन आपको कोई भी क्वेश्चन है प्लीज आप कॉल uh, करें uh, हमें एक्सेस के थ्रू हेल्थ बोर्ड को मैं आपके साथ फिर ये एक वेबिनार uh, हमारा शेयर करूंगी और अगर आपने आज एक घंटे को हमें सुना है the only our only request as all of the panelists i request that you take these four messages home that the currently available covid 19s vaccines are safe and effective jo covid 19 vaccine hamare paas available hai aaj united states mein um as uh, pfizer ka aur moderna ka wo safe aur effective hai usko lena bahut zaruri hai secondly to be fully effective these vaccines need to be taken in two doses 3 to 4 weeks apart so again hum ek vaccine leke kaam nahi chhuda sakte hame dono vaccine lena equally important hai so please ye baat khayal rakhe apne aap ko schedule kare apna card apne paas rakhe third point these vaccines do not replace the need for physical distancing face mask hand washing and preventive measures jo humne bahut aapko bataya and as always please avoid all in person gathering i'll share example of my person of my own uh, personal life and i'm sure all of you many of you have the same thing i have not seen my daughter or my mother in almost a year and why because it's all of our social responsibility i will repeat this many of you have not done that and that is so important ye hum sab ki social responsibility hai ki hum is baat ko samjhe because one life lost is one too many and we cannot afford that thank you so much um thank you for listening to us um chairman salim um any other comments please ji main ek bahut important baat hamari jamaat ke liye yahan bolna chahunga dekhe hamari sab ki ye communal responsibility hai aur personal responsibility hai कि हम मिस इंफॉर्मेशन ना फैलाएं क्या होता है कि कोई भी गलत चीज फेसबुक से आ गई या एक व्हाट्सएप मैसेज आ गया उसे फॉरवर्ड करने से पहले कि ये होता है वैक्सीन से वो होता है आई विल रिक्वेस्ट ईच वन ऑफ यू टू थिंक नॉट ट्वाइस बट थ्री टाइम्स वेदर एम आई डूइंग द राइट थिंक बाय मी फॉरवर्डिंग अ मैसेज दैट इज नॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम अ गुड सोर्स will i prevent another person not to take the vaccine who should have taken the vaccine badi earnest request hai hamari puri jamaat se jo ki aaj webinar pe hai ki hum sab ye responsibility le ki hum misinformation mein part na bane hum un cheezon ko forward na kare jo ki validated cheeze nahi hai hamesha source check kare zara bhi aapko agar shak hai to most important cheez is just delete that message and just move on bajaye iske ke aap misinformation aage forward kare badi earnest request hai hamari jamaat se ye thank you chairman salim and as i said earlier hamare paas thode questions hai jo hum continue karenge jamaat you are welcome to stay uh, please continue um, hanging on with us here for some more questions um, first question uh, chairman salim uh, aaya hai is it okay to fly after getting the vaccine locally and internationally देखें वट आई वुड से इस के वैक्सीन का ताल्लुक फ्लाइंग से इस वक्त नहीं है ठीक है मे बी इन सिक्स मंथ्स इट विल चेंज राइट नाउ द रिकमेंडेशन इज द जस्ट गेटिंग द वैक्सीन डज नॉट मीन दैट यू कैन फ्लाई एनी वेयर यू वॉन्ट बिकॉज रिमेंबर दिस इज ए वर्ल्ड वाइड डिजीज राइट नाउ यूएस में तो वैक्सीन अवेलेबल है बहुत सारी कंट्रीज में अभी स्टार्ट भी नहीं हुई है राइट इवन विद इन यू एस एज ऑफ दिस मॉर्निंग अबाउट टू पॉइंट सेवन टू पॉइंट एट मिलियन पीपल हैव रिसीव वैक्सीन this country has 330 million people it's going to take a while so this does not mean that you take the vaccine kuch aise bhi questions aaye the that you, you've gotten the first dose can i fly well the answer is no use the same precautions you would otherwise for flying that you would with getting the vaccine at least for the next 3 to 6 months is what what i would suggest thank you thank you that was important uh, another question here uh, is is it possible that second doses won't be available because of distribution issues 
एंड इज इट ओके अगर मैं थ्री वीक्स के बजाय फाइव वीक्स हो जाए मुझे लेने में सिक्स वीक्स हो जाए क्या मुझे पहला डोज फिर लगाना पड़ेगा डॉक्टर ललानी और डॉक्टर जैमिन सलीम हुआ कैन रिस्पॉन्ड टू द क्वेश्चन Uh, I'll take it first, then Salim can add as well. Um, so uh, yes, it, it so it's important that when it's you know in in your control, you go and schedule the visit and you get your two doses. Okay, there yeah that's there may be instances where uh, the vaccine might not be available for a few days, or maybe there was some uh, issue that you had because you couldn't make your appointment. Um, in that case, don't worry. um you can get the booster at a later but it, it still should be your earliest convenience you should get it as soon as possible uh but if you delay it for a few days it, it's okay you don't have to restart the vaccine um the second dose gives you that booster so think of it as a booster and whenever you get it you'll get that extra immune response thank you chairman sali जी बस वही कहूंगा कि दोनों डोजेस लेना बहुत जरूरी है जैसे डॉक्टर लालाने ने कहा ना कि ये सेकंड डोज बूस्टर होता है अगर आपको फाइजर की वैक्सीन लग रही है तो दूसरा डोज आपको तीन हफ्ते बाद लगेगा अगर मोडर्ना की है तो चार हफ्ते बाद आप जब आप फर्स्ट टाइम जाएंगे तो आपको वो कार्ड और अपॉइंटमेंट दोनों दे देंगे दूसरे डोज के लिए और बहुत जरूरी है कि दूसरा डोज लें अगर हमें उससे पूरा फायदा उठाना है तो बट लेट से फॉर वट एवर रीजन आपका दूसरा डोज मिस हो गया आप ट्वेंटी वन डेज में फाइजर की वैक्सीन के लिए नहीं पहुंचे आप मोडोना की वैक्सीन के लिए ट्वेंटी एट डेज में नहीं पहुंचे लेट से के फोर्टी डेज हो गए वेल द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज के जैसे ही आपको मौका मिलता है आप दूसरा डोज ले लें और आपको दोबारा पूरी वैक्सीनेशन रिपीट करने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर आपको चालीस दिन बाद जो है वो टाइम मिलता है अगर फॉर सम रीजन मिस हो गया है पचास दिन भी अगर हो गए हैं आप जाएं और फौरन से अपना दूसरा डोज जितना जल्दी ले सकते हैं ले लें मगर आपको दोबारा पूरी वैक्सीन लेने की जरूरत नहीं है थैंक यू चेयरमैन सलीम डॉक्टर अजानी मैं आई आस्क यू टू रिपीट दिस इन गुजराती प्लीज श्योर सो सवाल ये तो कि अगर जो बी डोज लेवाना जरूरी छे पण एक डोज रही गयो या मोडू थई गयो तो सु करवानो अने एना माटे जरूरी छे के बने डोज लेवा जरूरी छे पहली बात तो ही बीजू ही अगर जो त्रन के चार अठवाडिया है यहाँ जो अगर तब थोड़ा मोड़ू थी गयु कोईपण हिसाब ज्या सुधी ते पोता हिसाब से ट्राय करो कि तमो जो स्केड्यूल है यहाँ हिसाब लियो पर कोई बीजा कारण मोड़ू थी गयु कि चार अठवाडिया क्या छ अठवाडिया थी गया तो तमने छता ही तमने लेवा जरूरी है पाचे थी बने डोज लेवा जरूरत नहीं पड़े खाली बीजो डोज लेव जरूरी है कारण कि बीजो डोज लेवा पूरा कोर्स पूरा था एंड इम्यूनिटी डेवलपमेंट पूरी था Uh, Merudis, I would like to add here also that I understand that this could be slightly there are slightly differences in country by country. I know UK uh, issued a new regulation this morning. They've modified their rules uh, and regulation based on AstraZeneca as well as some other reasons. So I, I just want to make sure that people do check with their own people outside of US. They may want to make sure that whatever their regulations are, whatever their recommendations are, local recommendations is something that they'll have to follow strictly. Extremely important point. Thank you, Dr. Ajani. Thank you for uh, noting that. Um, my next question, uh, Chairman Salim, can I spread this virus to others if I got vaccinated already? देखिए इस वक्त जो हमें पता है वो ये है कि ये वैक्सीन लेने से आपका रिस्क भी कोविड नाइन्टीन का कम हो जाता है और अगर आपको कोविड नाइन्टीन इसके बाद लगता भी है क्योंकि हंड्रेड परसेंट तो इफेक्टिव नहीं है तो उसका डिजीज की सिवियरिटी भी बहुत कम हो जाती है ना क्वेश्चन ये है कि क्या ये लेने की वजह से आप स्प्रेड कम करेंगे इस वक्त हमें पता नहीं है इसका आंसर लेकिन चांसेस आर प्रॉबली यू इट विल लीड टू लोअर ट्रांसमिशन एज वेल वो स्टडीज इस वक्त चल रही हैं बोथ फाइजर और मोडर्ना की वैक्सीन के साथ एंड आई डू बिलीव दैट वेरी सून वी विल हैव दोस आंसर्स बट वी होप दैट दैट विल बी द केस आई डोंट नो इफ तहनियत यू वांटेड टू आंसर एनीथिंग पर्टिकुलर रिलेटेड टू दिस दिस क्वेश्चन एज़ वेल नो आई थिंक दैट यू हिट ऑन ऑल द राइट स्टफ राइट नाउ वी नो दैट दिस वैक्सीन प्रिवेंट्स डिजीज सिम्टोमेटिक डिजीज बट वी डोंट हैव द आंसर येट इफ इट if there's a little bit of virus that you could not be symptomatic from but it could still be shared um you know uh, to others and there might be people around you there might be people who have cancer who are on you know chemotherapy elderly people who uh, might have not mounted a good immune response so you want to be careful that in those cases you're not transmitting it to others and so wear a mask social distance wash your hands um do all those things even if you get the vaccine 
And then, like you said, in a few months, we should have a definite answer of whether transmission is possible or not. And uh, most likely if it's not, then that, that's the time then uh, we can uh, listen to the public health authorities and stop doing those measures. Uh, Dr. Lalani, to continue on, there's a question. It says, um, will I have to get this every year, like a flu vaccine? Uh, and and, if, and if, if the immunity just lasts two to three months, you know, do I have to take it multiple times other than the booster dose? Um, so you have to remember that this is a novel coronavirus. We did not know about this virus until January of this year. And that's why uh, scientists are being very cautious and studying the vaccine response um, and only uh, publishing the data that they know and advocating for what they know. What we know so far for a fact is that the immunity lasts for two or three months. That's published data that you know everybody can look at in journals. That, that, that's a fact. Um, there are studies and there's reason to believe uh, scientists uh, have like indirect proof that the uh, immunity would last longer than this. Um, you know, uh, it, they think that at least it's going to be several months to a year, um, but it, there's no way of knowing until you get to that point. The important thing is, you know, a lot of these studies were started in the summer. And so uh, we have six months of data on those people that were in the studies. And so that should be published soon. So a lot of these questions I think will be answered in the next month or so as more studies come out and we get a better understanding of this virus and the vaccine rollout taking place. When a lot of people get vaccinated, that will also change some of the picture. And so scientists are studying that closely. Uh, Chairman Salim, do you want to add something to this? I think, uh, I think uh, Dr. Lalani has told this in detail. I think one thing that came here thi, and maybe I would ask others to chime in as well, that the cancer patients or uh, some autoimmune disorders, what do they do? Uh, well, generally the recommendation is that कैंसर पेशेंट्स को जब कोविड होता है तो उनकी एक्चुअली uh, बहुत सीवियर कोविड होता है और रिस्क कॉम्प्लिकेशंस का भी ज्यादा होता है uh, तो आई वुड से कि अनलेस आपको एक्यूटली कीमोथेरेपी वगैरह लग रही हो इट इज एक्चुअली गुड फॉर यू अगर आपकी हिस्ट्री ऑफ कैंसर है तो आप कोविड-19 की वैक्सीन लें उसके अलावा अगर आपके कुछ स्पेसिफिक सरकमस्टेंसेस हैं देन डिस्कस इट विद योर प्राइमरी केयर क्लिनिशियन और ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन ऑलवेज टॉक टू आवर हेल्थ बोर्ड एज़ वेल द सेम होल्ड्स ट्रू फॉर ऑटोइम्यून डिसऑर्डर्स यू नो बिकॉज़ Sometimes autoimmune disorders में वो medications भी use की जाती हैं जो कि आपका immune system उससे weak हो जाता है इसलिए आपके लिए जरूरी है कि आप ये vaccine जरूर लें What we don't know is कि उनकी immune response जिनको immune disorders हों उतनी ज्यादा robust होती है या नहीं होती है मगर as such कोई side effects ज्यादा होने का अब तक जो है वो uh, trials में नहीं देखा गया है I don't know Tanya if you wanted to take these two uh, the ones with cancer as well as those with autoimmune disorders. Uh, yeah, I, I totally agree with um, everything that you said in general. Uh, cancer patients are no different than the other population, and they should be vaccinated. They should get both doses of the vaccine. In certain conditions when, like you said, uh, they're getting active chemotherapy, that might decrease their immune response. It's important to discuss with your doctor when the best time to get vaccinated is. If there are a lot of COVID cases going on in your area, um, and you're, you know, you're at serious risk because you have a cancer, uh, you know, to get uh, COVID and get severe disease. Then it might be better to get the vaccine as soon as possible. If you're actively undergoing chemotherapy and you might be done in a week or so, your doctor might say delay the vaccine for a week until your immune system is back to normal and then get the vaccine. So in all cases, it's important to discuss with your doctor and not just dismiss that you know you might not need the vaccine. Thank you, thank you, um, Dr. Lalani. Next question, uh, uh, Dr. Ajani, uh, that is being asked, and they are specifically, we are specifically looking for a response in Gujarati. Is um, how soon after getting COVID-19 can I get vaccinated? If I have COVID-19, then how soon can I get my vaccine? So, uh, uh, you said in Gujarati, so I'll, I'll try that. If you have COVID-19 future, तो ज्यार सुधी तुम्हारे पास तुम्हारे तुमने कोविड-19 ने सिम्टम्स होए तुमने बीमारी चालू रही छे तुमने ताव आवी रियो छे तुमने बीजा सिम्टम्स छे त्यार सुधी तुम्हें नो लियो जारे ई खत्म થઈ જાય છે સિમ્પટમ્સ ખતમ થઈ જાય છે તમે બરાબર થઈ ગયા પછી તમે લઈ શકો છો આમાં ખાલી એક જ વાત જે ચેરમેન પેલા વાત કરી કે અગર જો તમને સ્પેસિફિક કોઈ ટ્રીટમેન્ટ છે જે કે તમને એન્ટીબોડી ટ્રીટમેન્ટ જે હમણા એટલી નથી મળી રહી 
એ અગર તમને મળી હોય તો તમને નેવું દિવસ સુધી વેટ કરવાની જરૂર છે અદરવાઇઝ જેમ તમારા સિમ્ટમ્સ ખતમ થઈ જાય પછી તમે કોવિડનું વેક્સિન લઈ લઈ શકો છો અને બીજું એક ધ્યાન રાખવાનું કે બીજો કોઈ વેક્સિન બી છે અગર તમે બીજો કોઈ વેક્સિન લીધો હોય ફ્લૂ નો વેક્સિન છે હમણાં ચાલી રહ્યો છે યા તમે ન્યુમોનિયાનો વેક્સિન લીધો હોય તો એના માટે બી તમને બે અઠવાડિયાનો ગેપ દેવો જરૂરી છે એની પહેલા કે તમે પાછો બીજો વેક્સિન લઈ શકો thank you thank you dr ajani another question that we discussed before uh, chairman salim uh, if you can go over the medicare scam in english i know you discussed it in urdu but there is a request to if you can just clarify a little bit on that yeah i think uh, what we have uh, you know medicare sent out this uh, this email a few days back as well saying that be aware of uh, these medicare scams if somebody is asking for your medicare information asking for payment that if you pay us money we will prioritize your vaccination be wary of these emails these phone calls and these text messages because the vaccine is free the us government at least in us we know i know we have jamaat from other uh, countries as well in us the vaccine is paid for by the government so one would not need to pay out of pocket to either get the vaccine or be prioritized for the vaccine so if you're getting any of those emails any of those text messages or phone calls be very careful do not share any personal information and we believe that as time goes by these scams will become more and more prevalent as well and that is what we were trying to emphasize so i'm glad that this question was asked again thank you thank you chairman salim a next question dr lalani if you uh, can please respond to this do we know since we have short term data on these vaccines do we know any long term side effects of the vaccine so um it's important to know that vaccine side effects usually take place right after you get vaccinated common side effects usually occur within a week of getting the vaccine like the arm pain the um you know the fatigue whatever other symptoms you have those are the most common things that happen that can happen in about 40 to 60 to 80% of people that get it um uncommon side effects uh, for example like rare you know uh, neural uh, like brain infection not uh, you know complications that occur uh, that affects the brain system or muscles or anything like that even those types of reactions usually occur in the first 6 weeks of getting vaccinated um so when these studies were done they followed people for 2 months so uh and they were done in 40000 uh individuals in one study and 30000 in another so in 70000 people we have enough data to know that uh, you know rare even rare side effects aren't that common there were some things that were seen like in the studies uh but nothing that was concerning that was related to the vaccine so in, in some cases you might have heard that you know there was a uh, bell's palsy like a facial paralysis that occurred in some uh people but those were seen both in the vaccine arm as well as the people who didn't get the vaccine so that's important to know that uh, none of the, even the serious side effects have been associated with the vaccine um so that's why and and as of now uh, over 2 million people have been vaccinated so even if you had a rare side effect um it, it gives us a lot of reassurance that a lot of people have been vaccinated and even the reactions that we've seen for example the anaphylaxis the severe allergies these are reactions that can be dealt with in the right uh, situation so you know if these people are monitored in a clinic or a, a hospital um they can get the vaccine um so i would reiterate that the vaccine is really safe um and that people should get it and it's very effective in preventing covid thank you thank you uh, uh, dr lalani i just remind the jamaat uh, we are sorry to keep going but we would like to answer all the questions we have three to four more questions and we'll finish that so please stay with us so we can answer all of your questions um, next question also dr lalani i would ask um, you the astrazeneca vaccine is at 80% uh, efficiency or efficacious i heard so so is it still effective like is it as effective as pfizer and moderna vaccine which are almost 95% effective So the important thing to know is before these vaccines uh were even you know before even the studies were done the government both the WHO as well as the FDA and other regulatory bodies like for different countries they have set a benchmark they've set a criteria that says that this 
any vaccine that is available to the public must be at least 50% effective. So all of the vaccines, you might hear that one is 90% effective, one is 70% effective. Um, the important thing to know is that they are way more effective than not getting the vaccine. And the important thing is that even if it's 70% or 90%, if you have a lot of people in the community getting the vaccine, you protect each other. So uh, the protective, you know, you, you hear these numbers, but that's just part of the equation, part of the problem. The bigger picture is more people have to get vaccinated to keep everybody protected in the community. So I, I would not pay too much attention into these numbers. I would just get whatever vaccine is available and spend your energy in getting people around you, your relatives, your community to get vaccinated as well. Thank you for that very important response. Um, Dr. Uh, or Chairman Salim, um, question for you. Would treatment for COVID-19 change if I were to get the vaccine after being vaccinated? For example, remdesivir, yeah, steroids, will any of those treatments change for me? If you get COVID-19 after getting the vaccine? If I get the vaccine for COVID-19, and if I get COVID after that, will any of those specific treatment will change? Well, right now, I am not aware of any, again, this is an open question, and I think Tehmiyat can also take this question, but I am not aware that the treatment would change any. Now, when you get COVID-19, by definition, you should have good amount of antibody. So I think steroids and remdesivir will probably stay, depending on how severe your disease is. As far as the antibody treatments are concerned, somebody may or may not administer that uh, if you already have a good antibody titer. But outside of that, I think most things should stay the same in terms of treatment if you get COVID-19 uh, after getting the vaccine. I don't know, Tanya, if you have anything to say about the treatments that they would change in any significant way. No, I, I totally agree. Uh, remdesivir is the standard of care that people get when they're in the hospital um, and uh, steroids as well. Um, I think it will be important to consult with your doctor about getting any antibodies. Um, like you were saying that some outpatients do get antibody um, uh, infusions um, against the virus. Um, uh, and, and that might, uh, your doctor might say that that might have an effect on your uh, vaccine response. But again, it's very important to have that discussion with your doctor. Uh, but in general, the treatment should stay the same. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lalani. Um, Chairman Salim, uh, question for you. When will life return to normalcy? Where we, where we may not have to wear the mask and physical distance. Our favorite question. Agar mujhe ye sawal ka bilkul sahi jawab pata hota, to kya baat thi? Uh, the, the short answer is, I don't think anybody knows right now. But inshallah, if we get to that point of herd immunity, whereby a very large proportion of the population has received COVID-19 vaccine and overall community transmission rates have gone really, really low. At that point, life will come back to normal. I do believe, and I, I, do, I don't think I have a crystal ball for that matter. I don't know how many people do. I do believe that there will be a life at least for a few months or a few quarters where even after vaccination, we will be wearing masks. We will be continuing with the very uh, good hand hygiene, which we should continue with regardless, as well as maintaining physical distancing. And once a large proportion of the population is vaccinated, at that point, slowly, life will get back to normalcy. When that will happen, I don't think I have a very good crystal ball, but inshallah, in the next six to nine months, we, we should be seeing more and more of life coming back to normalcy because the fact of the matter is, Everybody is frustrated and bored with, with, with the current life that we all have to live through. But Alhamdulillah, we are all alive. And Alhamdulillah, we are able to see this vaccine that was not available nine months ago. So uh, there's, there's a lot of positive here to look at as well. Uh, I don't know if others on the panel would, would like to take this question as well, because it's an important question. Any other responses? Dr. Ajani? I think basically uh, what Salim said is makes perfect sense. We don't know that, but uh, I, I think we have to hope for the best, but we have to be prepared no matter what. And that's what the uh, ongoing message is that we need to stay conscious. We cannot lower our guards and we need to have 
enough vaccination uh, within the community. And then you will, again, as, as Tanya said, we'll hear different numbers, 80% or 90% or 70%. But as long as larger proportion of community can get vaccinated, uh, it, it's only at that point in time that we'll start seeing some change. Thank you so much, Dr. Ajani. Um, Chairman Salim, do you have any last thoughts or anything that uh, you'd like to respond to? I think I will just mention uh, that, you know, this is just the beginning of a dialogue with the community. Uh, inshallah, we will continue to have these dialogues at the regional level with various uh, segments of our Jamaat uh, in various vernaculars, depending on whatever the need is. So this will continue. This was just the first webinar. As more information becomes available, we will continue to have those regional webinars. We will continue to talk to various segments. Uh, on segment side, you showed the website as well. That website will be updated, not just with information and PSAs and videos and this uh, uh, presentation from today as well. But inshallah, we will also add links related to resources where you can actually get information related to vaccine for your states. Looks like within the last 24 hours, we've actually updated quite a bit of that already on the site, but that will continue to evolve. So I would highly recommend that uh, the Jamaat, you know, follows uh, the Ismaili inside the messages from each of our regions, the messaging that's coming out from each of the, uh, from the leaders in each of the regions, whether that's our local council presidents, our health board chairs, social welfare board from the QOL portfolio, Follow what's coming in Ismaili Insight because you will always have those things listed there. And then, of course, the website we have here as well as d.smiley to make sure that you're getting all the information that's out there. We will make sure that any information that needs to get out gets out in a very, very timely manner for the Jamaat. Thank you, Chairman Salim. With that said, let's all be very vigilant. As we said, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Just wanted to thank all the panelists uh, for being here today with us. Thank you uh, for sharing your thoughts and all your knowledge with the Jamaat. Thank you, Hazrin Jamaat, for attending this. Please continue to reach out to Access for Health Board. We are here to answer all your questions and concerns. And just pick up the phone. If you don't call us, we will not know that you need us. So please do so. Thank you so much, Yali Madad, and good night. <laughs>